Hello everyone, and it is I, New Paralyzer, and basically today, um, I was, well, I've been using Pseudo Saturn a lot, and, you know, some games just, um, I guess they don't want to run, um, being booted this way, and there's a compatibility list out there, but it's not perfect, um, not judging the person who put the compatibility list together. It's more of a, um, it's kind of hard to keep up with it, especially when um, firmware versions come out and um, updates happen. And there's um, there's a lot of things that can go into, uh, I can come into a like, play here when it comes to uh, why the game runs now and didn't run before and why the chart's wrong and or why is this chart right and this, you know, stuff like that. Um, I've been emailing one of the person, uh, well, I mean, I don't know if anyone else has made a chart. But I've been emailing um, someone who has a Saturn compatibility chart for Pseudo Saturn, and we discussed a few things because his findings were a little bit different than mine. Um, and also, we talked about like the RAM being um, awkwardly not working. As you can actually see right here, the sprites are all messed up, and pretty sure that's actually not Pseudo Saturn. Uh, we think it's the RAM cart that we have. Um, I could probably get into more of that later. Um, but the RAM cards that we have, we seem to be like knockoff action replays. And uh, they seem to have an issue processing um, just be or being accessed sometimes. I just, I haven't, I don't really have reason to know why, especially since it's not, it's not all sprites. I don't, I don't understand why it loads the way it loads here. Um, so basically, I just want to talk about that real quick. And. I guess I'll get started. Um, the intention of these videos is to just check if Pseudo Saturn will boot your game. And I mean, it booted it, but it's was, it was wrong. Um, let's let's uh, turn that off. And we're gonna try again because this game should work. It's more of a uh, issue with the RAM cart. So here we go, here's Sake Saturn, booting up. Alright, now Pseudo Saturn's gonna kick in. And we're just gonna let it use the default loader because it should run on both. Which it has. Running it no problem. Uh, there's two loaders on this version of Pseudo Saturn. And if your game ever fails to boot, you can always try the other one. Um, everything, I mean, I guess your results may vary, but everything should be should be good to go. Options, I mean, I actually haven't loaded Art Gallery before. And it's good to check as much as you can, because you never know what will actually crash the game. This is actually really cool. That's some good art in here. I'm not sure why panning's inverted. Down is up and up is down. Uh, left is right and right is left. Okay. Okay, well, this seems to work. With an interesting load screen. CF Combat School loads. That thing is going for it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I had to play the game at least once to get con or I had to beat the first level to get combat school to work, so uh, can I still not get it to work? Go to office, yeah, office. Oh, I gotta name myself. Okay. Uh Don't want 
I'll take the time to set up a profile. Just uh, is it really upset that I'm not in uh, uh, blood and sex? Uh, uh, no, okay. Yeah, there's so many Japanese things to ask about for your blood, and I just I don't know the information about myself. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, and we'll go attack. Pinpoint. Run player mode? Sure. Stage one? Yes. I just want to know if you're compatible with Pseudo Saturn. Because you may boot the game up and you might be like, cool, it loads, I can press start, game works. Um, that's not always the case. You never know what might the game which might crack. Oh, the. The sprites didn't load again. That. I don't know why that does that. So I'm almost positive it's not pseudo Saturn. Uh, we're just we're gonna pick the bottom booter. And now that it it shouldn't matter because I've I've got this game to load on both. So the fact that the sprites just they don't work, it seems to be random. And once you get it going, I mean, just, we'll start the game. See, there we go. Um, it loaded. Uh, the game is playing just fine. So yeah, um, that sprite issue, I'm almost certain it's not Pseudo Saturn, but I mean, we're going through the stage no problem, uh, game's playing just fine, uh, I don't, the slowdown I think is just, um, Saturn hardware, uh, the, game, the game's running a lot right now, it's got the metal slug going crazy, it's got explosions to load. It picks back up, the water's animated, and there's a lot going on. I don't know, compared to the PlayStation version, which run ones are better. I would think this game runs better than the PlayStation version, because it, it actually needs the, the RAM cart. It needs one megabyte of RAM to run. So if you're using Pseudo Saturn on a, uh, a not an action replay, but maybe like a memory card, um, you won't be able to actually run this game. It actually does require the RAM. So, I'm gonna give it one last test here. So as you can see, this game is definitely compatible. Um, you might experience sprites not loading but I think that's only if you're using I'm just gonna pick the top loader um, I think that's if you're experiencing uh, issues with like a third like I think these are knockoff action replays that we have I mean the box that it comes in doesn't even have a barcode on it so the things clear from been sold in stores and the instructions are in broken English they did come from China and I don't know much about action replays in the 90s but I assume you know I've pretty sure those existed because I know the GameCube had legit ones because remember a magazine I had I'll talk about all a bunch of Zelda action replay codes because I know you can go to the store and get an action replay so I assume back then you just went to the store and got an action replay for your Saturn which of course here in 2016 we're not we're not buying Saturn accessories from our from our Walmarts so I picked the first loader this time and ah, wow it didn't load the sprite uh, maybe maybe the ram cart is just I swear I've got sprites to load off the first uh, 
the first loader before. But, uh... Maybe I just got lucky. Maybe you are better off taking the second loader. Huh. I'm just curious if I could fail off booting that. I mean, I'm just I'm waiting to see sprites just not load. This is interesting now. Okay. That, that loaded no problem. Uh, okay, well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope anyone who's using Pseudo Saturn uh, found this helpful. Basically, this video basically exists just to let you know that, hey, if you want to play Metal Slug using Pseudo Saturn, um, it, it works. It boots. It's playable. Um, I'm not going to progress through the whole game. I mean, I would like to at one point, but I guess I'm going to do it off camera. I guess if I discover anything that crashes the game later, I'll re-upload the video and be like, hey, remember how I said most like words? Well, it crashes here. Or, you know, something like that. But as far as I can tell, the game seems to be fully playable. It doesn't really doesn't seem to want to crash or anything. Um, if the sprites were to ever cut out mid-gameplay, I, I would completely suspect the ram cart. Um, but yeah, no, it's yeah, working. Everything's loading. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope this has helped.